What is going on, people of YouTube? Today, we've been sent out something by Game Sir. There are three controllers. Two of them are the same. One of them is the more upgraded version. So we're going to jump in, and I've got this top-down view again. So you've got a bit of me on the side with a top-down view. So these are the products here. We've got ourselves the Nova and two Nova Lights, and then they've also sent out some of their universal grips. So we're going to check them out. Right, okay. We're going to start off with the Nova Lights because this one is the more upgraded version. So we're going to put that to the side. They do come in two different colorways. We've got a space purple here and then we have ourselves a stellar white in this one so we're going to start off with the space purple this one is a beautiful color now i've tested all of these out and they are compatible with what i know of is the switch playstation pc laptops mac ios uh, android like so your mobile tablets anything like that i'm not sure about xboxes because they've brought out something new so you couldn't use third party controllers you will have to let me know if you've tried this before if it does work or not because i can't test it i don't have an xbox but anyway let's move on to the actual product themselves so it comes in a nice little case here when i first took this out i thought what is that i had no idea it was a case i was like so confused i was like that's not even a controller what do you mean but yeah it is when you open it up and this is the purple as you can see, it looks more blue or black, but it is a somewhat midnight purple. Now, what you get inside, obviously, the case is the USB for your Bluetooth. And the back, this little orange button is your sync button. Then the controller itself has this nice orange touch to the analog here. And they've actually paid attention to the analogs where they are a non-drift stick, so it won't get stuck. So over time, it won't get stuck and it won't start, you know, deteriorating. They will last you a long old time. Now, the build quality is very, very tough. I mean, the plastic is very high grade plastic the buttons on the other hand don't feel so great the a x y and b are nice and clicky don't get me wrong they're tactile it's the d-pad that feels a bit smushy back buttons again top two bumpers feel absolutely beautiful back two buttons feel a little bit smushy but they still have a nice click to them you do get these three different buttons on the front here and obviously your on button so when you push that down it will go green and try and search for a Bluetooth device that is connectable. You don't have to use the USB. You can just connect it to a Bluetooth device. And then you hold it down again to turn this thing off just like that. Then you've got a mode button here, which allows you to change for different modes. So if it is Android, Windows and so forth, or if you just need to change the mode for button layouts and things like that. Um, there is a massive manual that you can go and follow on to learn the different modes. Now, it is a USB-C. They don't supply you with a cable, but, I mean, everyone has a USB-C cable somewhere in their house. So, that is the Space Purple. Let's move to the Stellar White. Now, this one, I absolutely love. I love this colorway. This is a little manual you get, and it has all of the details you need to know in there about modes and stuff. But we won't get into that because that's the boring bit. And on the back, it does tell you that it has the motors for real sensation it also has anti-slip texture grips responsive membrane buttons high durable analog membrane triggers pull effect sensors anti-drift and ultra longevity i think that's how you say it but yeah it basically is just chef's kiss okay i've just found some more specs and I, I should have really looked at the box first but i've just found some more specs so the bluetooth is 2.4 g and wired there are quick button interchanges so a and b and x and y and obviously it says here for switch steam ios and android and pc uh, the other side is just their discord and stuff like that this one is the stellar white and i like i said this is the beautiful colorway i love this one comes in that nice case you do get a manual in there but i've obviously taken it out but this is the one that just ah oh, look at that look at that baby oh my that right there is what you call crisp again with the usb in there and then the orange sticks the buttons are the exact same when it says interchangeable i'm very confused what they mean does that mean i can literally take take them out as it is i don't I don't get that i don't know what they mean by interchangeable it must mean you have to take the front case off but yeah that's the white one i mean this one definitely took my fancy it just and they feel great in the hand i'm not gonna lie they feel super nice and they work on xbox pass so i was using it on my mobile with xbox pass and it worked beautifully i didn't find any drift like any delay apart from obviously xbox pass being on the wi-fi there was a little bit of delay through that but the controller itself there was not a single bit of delay which was fantastic now moving on to the big boy we've gone over this one it's time to move on to the actual main event and the reason they sent out two of the same is because they wanted to do a giveaway so in time i will be making another video 
to do a giveaway for one of these. It might have to be the space purple because the white one, that's staying with me. Obviously, this one I won't be giving away either because this is the main, this is the big boy. This is the daddy. <laughs> so looking at the specs of this one, it is RGB anti-friction glide ring. We've got responsive membrane buttons again, the Hall Effect sensor sticks, anti-drift and ultra long longevity, the wideband HD rumble motors, the two macro buttons, which we'll get into, the motion control for immersive gameplay and anti-slip textured grips again so this one has some extra little features that the light one doesn't so that means you can turn the controller and it'll pick up in game again it comes with a case but this one comes with a nice little box at the bottom as well and in this box you just get your startup guide you do actually get a cable with this one but you don't get a usb so that's a bit odd how they don't supply the usb in the main one but they supply a cable I would have thought it'd been the opposite way around. I don't know. This one here is in a retro style. Now, there's one thing I've noticed with this controller that I don't really like. You might notice it when I open it up here. Uh, so this is the controller itself. Now, obviously, again, no USB in this one here. But this one is a retro style. I love the colorway. Don't get me wrong. But the thing that bugs me is these. On all the others, they were set out like the Xbox. So it was A, X, Y, and B. On this one, for some reason, they've got B, Y, X, A. So what I'm going to have to do, obviously, it does say they're interchangeable. But what I'm going to have to do is take the front off and actually change them around because it bugs me. Every game uses the standard Xbox or PlayStation layout. So why these are different, I have no idea. But anyway, with this one, you have to hold this little button here, the home button. And when you turn this one on, I love it. You get this beautiful RGB come around the ring here. And then you can change this by doing mode and different buttons. I'm not going to mess around with it because I don't know how to change it back. I haven't looked through the manual properly. Um, but I know if you hold the mode button and change it, like you can change the RGB, you can have it breathing, you can have it doing a different colorway and so on. And then you hold it again to turn it off. That's the only thing that bugs me is just that these are a different layout. And I've also noticed the A is a lot higher than the Y. Can you see that the A button is a lot more out than the Y? I don't know if that's because of the curvature or what, but it just, it, it that bugs me. Um, but other than that, all the other buttons feel the exact same. Very nice and clicky, but you do get that little bit more of a mushier D-pad. I mean, this one feels a bit more clickier than the lights. I don't know if that's because of the, obviously, the sensors inside. But on the back is what is interesting. It's like a scuff controller, and you have these two macro buttons here that you can set to whatever you want, which is really nice because it does feel, it does fit perfectly if you're have a you know if you have your two fingers on there you can still use it with these ones or if you have your one finger on there you can still use the back buttons with these your middle fingers so you have a ring finger or middle finger but you can still use it no matter what but i've used this one majority of the time playing xbox game pass and also on my um my macbook playing some no man's sky and i've tested it on my windows pc which all work fantastic whether you use the third party bluetooth stick in your pc or if you just use the standard wire whatever it is this picks up nicely there's no delay in like in movement it doesn't disconnect there's no input lag nothing like that i haven't found anything as of yet give it a couple more weeks i'll have to try it out a bit longer how long the battery lasts i'm not sure i haven't really tested all these things i've just been given these and i wanted to get the video out for them and to let you guys know that these are available now on their shop which will be linked in the description now let's move over to the universal grips because i haven't tested these out they're still sealed and everything so it's easy to install four designs abrasion resistant anti-slip material and conquer precision so it says open here so that's nice that they give you an, an opening because these things are terrible to open if you don't have like something to help you i'm just going to pour them all out right there we go they're all out so we've got some quite thick these are more like control freaks i guess they're higher up give you a bit more precision then you've got your domes if you like more of a domed instead of the concaved grips like sort of xbox style these are more playstation then you have some thinner these are somewhat domed but also got a bit of a bezel in there so it's some like a bit of both i guess and then these ones are weird i've never seen anything like they're like little nipples you got nipples if you want them on your controller now i tend to use like control freaks so they give you a bit of a higher advantage so we're going to try these ones so what it says is to peel off so i'm scared do i just put this over the top of these grips already on there because these feel quite natural to just put over the top of these i don't want to peel the other plastics off and then you know damage it okay i feel like that's what you do okay there we go that is what you do oh, okay that actually feels quite quite nice it's a very very controller freak feeling it's very lifted 
So it gives you a bit more accuracy for the slight touches compared to the smaller. You know, there's no um, stick. It's not getting stuck on the sides and nothing like that. So it's very nice. Let's try a dome. It's a bit more tedious than the other one. There we go. There we go. Almost done. Just pull that over the top. Bosh. Oh, I like that. That's a good setup right there. So you've got the nice... Foam for running smooth, and then you got the control freak style for the pinpoint accuracy. I guess that would be good if you could have that one on there because that one's quite pinpoint sort of accuracy for your, your sniping and stuff. But I like it's a very nice feel. They definitely have good grip like on the sides here. You've got some good grip. They are very simple to just pull off, as you can see there. Just pull it off, and then that's it. If you do pull it and the analog gets stuck like this, I don't know if you like that, all you have to do is just push the analog back on all you've done is just pulled the analog off of its actual stick you haven't broke it don't worry but yeah that's the controllers and i mean for the price of these things very good quality some people may say they're terrible some people may you know slate them this is my first time ever trying them and as a first time user i think these are great so if you want to check them out there's a link in the description i definitely recommend them you know whether you want to go for the big boy that's got all the extra bits in there or if you want to go for a light one or the other they both work the same this one just comes with some extra features if you like using your your, your dual shock sort of motion and all that jazz this is the one for you so i appreciate game Surf for sending these controllers out there will be a video coming shortly about the giveaway so make sure you are subscribed and notification bell is turned on other than that ladies and gentlemen i appreciate you all watching till the end and uh, if you have any questions about these let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you on that capture create captivate and i'll see you all in the next video